What's up my producer friends, another monster here at anothermonsterproductions.com. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today I want to give you a few tips on how you can actually train your ear to hone in on specific elements within a track so that as you're listening you can sort of critique what's going on within their mix and then apply some of those principles back to your own mixes so that you can get a better sounding track. So the other day I was on a road trip with my girlfriend and we went back and listened to some classic rock, which I haven't done in a really, really long time. I used to be a big classic rock fan and listen to it all the time. And when I was much younger, I remember um, this one song that I, I listened to like on repeat uh, was Pinball Wizard by The Who. And that song happened to come on and the balance just felt so wrong in the track. The guitar was like hard panned right and it just like the drums I think maybe were like a little bit off center and it just like everything felt really disorienting and like it just sounded so weird and it was a very weird thing because you know I wasn't even listening on headphones I was listening in a car on a road trip and I used to listen to that song on headphones which I know even makes it even more crazy sounding and for whatever reason you know back then I thought the song sounded great um, also the mix to me sounded kind of thin and like there's just like all these things about it that back when I first listened to that type of music I didn't really know about production and I didn't know how to sort of critique these things and it got me thinking like you know I was a musician back then I thought I had a pretty good ear and I still didn't know how to listen to some of these elements so I thought you know maybe I should make a video about this uh, for some of you who are are newer to the ear training process of music production because when it comes to being a music producer it's very important to always be thinking about these elements and training your ear so that you can in turn you know create better music and create a better mix all right so this is what i want you to do moving forward anytime you listen to music from now on start practicing this and what i want you to do is i want you to pick a specific element of that track instrument sound whatever and just hone in on it and really listen to it and listen to it for as long as it takes to determine these three things. First of all, how loud is it in relationship to the rest of the sounds within the mix? So is it the loudest part of the mix, the quietest part, or does it sit somewhere in the middle? And if it does, where is it in relationship to the rest of the sounds within the mix? So is it maybe a little bit quieter than the hi-hat, but louder than, you know, some background ambient vocal or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be, try and determine exactly where it sits volume wise. Then I want you to be thinking about panning or stereo image of the track. So is it panned to the right? Is it panned to the left? Somewhere in between hard right, hard left, maybe just right of center. Uh, where does it sit on the stereo image of the track? So that once you've kind of determined those two things, then I want you to be thinking about depth of the track. Where does it sit? Does it sit in the front? Of the track or in the back of the track and uh, various textural type things within the mix are going to make certain sounds stand out um, more at forefront or more in the back also reverb delay certain effects can can sort of uh, have make make something sound farther or closer away so keep those in mind and try and determine you know where the sound sounds like it's coming from in relation to depth of the mix and once you've determined those three things then I want you to actually move on to uh, try and figure out if you can maybe hear a specific effect that is on the track. So for example, is there reverb on that specific instrument or sound? Is there delay on that specific instrument or sound? Maybe there's a delay tail or a reverb tail at any specific part of the mix. And once you can like really hone in on these sort of more elaborate things that make a track come to life, that's when you're going to be able to do it, sort of replicate that within your tracks and your mixes. And that's when you're going to take your productions to the next level. So when it comes to actually hearing, you know, what specific effect may be on a, an instrument, um, this is going to come later. If you're sort of new to this process and new to production, don't expect to get this right away. It, it, it's going to be, you're going to have to hear uh, what certain things do on a track a number of times before you're able to hear it out of context of you being on the computer and be able to tell you, you know, exactly what effect that is. For example, like, you know, let's, let's say like a phaser or something like that, you know, you may hear this effect and be like, I have no idea what that is. But once you add that to, uh, an element in your own tracks enough and kind of play with different instruments and like see sort of how it affects specific sounds a certain way, a number of times, 
then you'll be able to hear it and just be able to know, oh, so he put a phaser on that, you know, along with maybe a tiny bit of distortion or like, some, you know, whatever he did. And that's how he achieved that sound. And then you can reverse engineer it and it'll be a lot easier for you to get into your DAW and actually replicate cool things that you hear when you hear a mix. So I don't want to ramble on for too long. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please go ahead, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. Also, I'm kind of curious, how many of you are doing this but haven't really thought about it necessarily uh, to this extreme, or maybe you've thought of it even more extreme and you have something that you want to add on to help some of the new people who haven't done this, leave that in a comment down below and I will see you in the next video.